Hi guys, welcome back finally after eons. It's been eons literally since I've been able to uh, sit down and make a video and I apologize for that. It's just been really crazy busy lately and I wasn't able to, you know, find time or literally find a quiet space to sit down where I could make a video, but I'm back and I'm really excited about today's video because it features an item that was like a purchase that I thought I was not going to be able to make at least till up till the end of the year. But it just so happened that it was at the top of my wish list and things just kind of fall into place. You know, when things are meant to happen, they will happen. So without further ado, ah, let me tell you the item that I'm going to be unboxing for you today. And it is from my ultra favorite, super mega favorite brand. Oops. <laughs> VTA. You guys can see. So this purchase today, this unboxing today is going to be from Van Cleef and & Arpels. And I have, um, I think, one more piece from, yeah, one more piece from Van Cleef and & Arpels. And that one, that video was liked by so many of you and you guys really liked In fact, that video about the VCA piece was a requested video. I wasn't even planning to do it, but it, everybody really liked it and they kept requesting it. So I made that video. So I know that this video is also going to be liked by you guys a lot. So without wasting any more time, let's roll the intro and then after that, let's get right to the unboxing. And here we are with my, um, I think it's my first jewelry unboxing for 2022. Yeah. So here is the VCA shopping bag and I'm just going to take like all of this paperwork out. I'll go over this in more detail once I am done with the unboxing, but for now, I just want to focus on the actual item itself. I got a gift wrap for myself because, well, my birthday is still like several months away. <laughs> and I really just, I don't know, I've, I've started to like doing these uh, unwrapping. I don't know. It, it's always uh, it's always wonderful to be able to unwrap the gift. And technically, this is just by, like, by me for me. So it's really not a gift, I guess. Is it? I don't know. I still love it. And here is that suede green jewelry box. VCA has like suede boxes, whereas Cartier and Shumei, they have the leather ones. And here we go. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. It, you know, when you when you get items gift wrapped and then you open it up at home, it's like getting like a double surprise. So you got your first little thrill when you saw it in the store and then you get the second thrill when you actually unbox it at home. I'm gonna slide up the cushion here. This is the VCA signature pearly bracelet. And this is in the rose gold. And it's the size uh, extra small, which is translates to 14 centimeters in case anybody is wondering. And I like the fact that VCA bracelets are really easy to put on and off. I think also the shoe is easy to put on. So you can see I'm doing it by myself here. No help required. I'm going to make sure it's secure. There we go. And look how utterly beautiful. Okay guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing. Oh my God, when I got this piece, I wanted to put it on right away in the store. But then I was like, no, 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 I'm gonna do the proper unboxing, the official unboxing. So I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna go home, I'm actually gonna unbox it and then I'm gonna put it on. And so I, here it is. Look at that. This is the VCA Signature Perlay Bracelet. Oh, I cannot tell you. I. Literally, I went into the VCA store multiple times last year, and I'm gonna put a video up here, a little clip up here. This is me going to the VCA store and trying on the signature pearly bracelet because this was the one that I wanted to get. And this is the exact configuration that I had it on in the store. When I tried it on in the store, I had my um, Shumei uh, Be My Love bracelet um, in the same, I think it's the right wrist, in the right wrist. And then I had my Cartier and my old VCA old VCA, my VCA uh, pearly uh, bracelet on this hand. And I really like the way that it's stacked on the, uh, with the Be My Love bracelet. So I decided that when I eventually would buy it, this is how it was going to be worn. And I have to tell you, um, this bracelet, literally when I saw it in the store, I went in the VCA store, I was planning to buy something else. I was planning to buy the Alhambra, sweet Alhambra earrings. But then I saw this and I was like, what? I want this and I got it. This bracelet, let me tell you the details first and then I can gush over it later. This bracelet cost me 25,000 dirhams, the equivalent price I will put up on the screen in dollars. I got the rose gold version of this bracelet and I got this in a size 14. So this is an extra small size. It's the same size as this one, I believe. This one is also the smallest size that they have. 
So they're both size 14 and this is how they all look stacked together. I did try stacking them all on one hand just for the heck of it and I'll put that picture up um, on the screen but honestly while it looked amazing it was not very comfortable. First of all they were my wrist got really heavy because the Cartier Love is pretty heavy and second they kept banging and clashing into each other because they're all despite the fact that they're all approximately the same size um, like the the Cartier Love is 15 centimeters because I don't believe it comes in any size. That's the smallest size for the Cartier. The BCA Perlay is 14. This is 14. This is 15 again because the Be My Love also doesn't come in a smaller size. So because there's a slight size difference and also there's a slight difference in um, the shape, they're all oval but like the Be My Love is a very defined oval whereas the uh, the yeah, the Perlay, this one also, the signature Perlay is also a very defined oval. The Cartier Love has a more snug fit, so even though I think that's because the bracelet is thicker, as you can see, that it's thicker and this is a bit thinner. So because of this, I think they fit different bags. Okay, so that was the specs of the bracelet. Uh, let me go over the design elements a little bit more. Um, the reason I chose this particular one is because, as you can see in the bracelet, it's got the best of both worlds. So it has the pearly beads, the gold beads around both sides of the bracelet and in the center it is this highly polished mirror finish and for me the mirror finish is is something that i really 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 adore in gold jewelry it's one of the reasons why i got the be my love because it has a mirror finish this uh, this is the best mirror finish of all of them because this actually catches the light it's faceted in a way that it catches the light and it just throws the light around everywhere so it's literally like wearing a disco ball on your arm dee, dee, dee. <laughs> you can see it right now um and one of the reasons I loved this bracelet so much was because it combined the best of both of them. So I got the beaded element from the Perlay Beads of Gold bracelet and I got the mirror po uh, finish from the Cartier one that I love and also from the Mala. So it gets the, both, the best of both worlds. And if you look closely, you can see that it actually has... I don't know if this is going to show so well. Yeah, there you go. It has the Van Cleef and Arpels signature engraved on the bracelet on um, both sides, yeah. And in terms of how it opens and closes, it's really easy. So this is how it opens. There's a clasp here. There, see, it just came right off. There's a clasp here. You lift that up and then you press this button here and there we go, it's off. So it's a hinge closer, uh, not like the love bracelet, uh, more like the Perlay Gold and the Be My Love. It has a hinge closer, a hinge closer, and then there's a clasp and it hinges open and closes and you can just put this on. It's very secure and the best part, so I'm actually gonna show you the bracelet up close as well. So this is what it looks like. There's the beaded design. There's the highly mirror polish finish and I hope you guys can see the engraved signature uh, VCA on the bracelet as well. And this is the smallest size. Like I said, it's a 14 centimeter size. Uh, those of you that are interested in knowing how it fits, this is how it fits on me. I could put it on by myself and take it off by myself, which is fabulous. I hate having to rely on others for my jewelry, so there we go. There you hit that click, and then you just lock it from the bottom. You hear that, and that's it. That's how it fits. So that was, and look at the way it shines. Look at how they both look. I kind of feel like doing the little dance motion that they do in the movies. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Cheesy. All right, so that was how the bracelet fits. I did try stacking it with the Cartier and uh, again, while it looked amazing, I felt like it was a bit too heavy for my hand, for my wrist, because I have really tiny wrist to begin with. So I think, and the Cartier itself is pretty heavy. So I, I would definitely want to stack this separately. And the reason somebody asked me why I don't stack my Be My Love with the Cartier is because the Be My Love is pretty sharp edges. I feel like it's going to scratch the Cartier bracelet. Um, in terms of, um, Durability, I really just had it like a few days, so I can't comment on that. But but when I bought this, I did mention my concerns to this my sales associate. I said, look, I wear my bracelets day in, day out. I sleep in this, I shower in this, I work out in this, I cook, I do all my chores, everything. I don't take my bracelets off. That's not why I buy them. I don't buy them to store them in the, in the closet. I buy them so I can enjoy them every day. That's why I save up for them. When <laughs> when taking process. So she said, it's absolutely fine. Um, and I asked her, look, I'm going to stack this. So is this going to hold up against other bracelets? And she said, yes. And the reason for that is because despite the fact that it has a mirror finish, it has these beads around the edges. And these beads kind of work like a little barrier. So just like the original VCA Perlay uh, Beads of Gold bracelet has held up fabulously because of the design, 
I mean, it's held up, I think out of all of these bracelets, if you were to ask me which bracelet has literally um, taken a beating, I would say the Be My Love. The Be My Love, disappointingly, it gets scratched even more easily than the Cartier. Now, initially, I thought that it was holding up fine, but now I definitely feel like it's the one that needs to be babied the most. Um, it gets scratched a lot. Also, the the beehive design, I felt like in a couple of places, it's actually become chipped, which like literally like, oh, when I saw that, I was like, my heart was like, how did that happen? So just so you know, if you're planning to buy the Be My Love, you have to be careful with it, right? Um, the Cartier has actually held up not so bad. I was thinking it was going to be literally like so hard because every review that I was reading and watching was like, Cartier, love bracelet. Oh my God, terrible scratches. But I, I'm wearing it on my non-dominant hand for the very reason that I feel like it's safer here than it is on my right hand. I'm right-handed. But the VCA, um, yes, uh, I can. the reason I can stack it for the beam I love is because the, the beads on the edges, they protect the mirror finish. And the beads are pretty like super strong. So they don't, I don't have to worry about them getting scratched, right? And also because it is lighter in weight than the Cartier, I feel like even if it does bump against the Be My Love, it's not gonna do like a lot of damage to it, right? Because at the end of the day, you have to stack your bracelets, right? That's why you buy them. I mean, you could wear one at a time, but who wants to do that? Oh, we wanna wear all them together. We wanna wear everything together. In fact, nobody's around. <laughs> My family's like, enough with the jewelry. I'm like, no, never. <laughs> I am actually considering either getting the Justin Clue, the original Justin Clue, not the thin one, or another Cartier. This is rose gold. Oh, did I say that this was in rose gold? Yeah, this bracelet is in rose gold. All my jewelry is in rose gold. Rose, 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 rose. <laughs> I should be named Rose. I changed my name. No, that's a very long process. So all my jewelry is in rose gold because I have that kind of a complexion with like um some kind of pink undertones. I don't know what it's called. I really suck at makeup, but my it works perfectly with my complexion. Yellow gold. This is yellow gold. This is yellow gold. They look fine. I just feel like rose kind of works better. It, 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 it exudes this warmth. And look at, they're all from different brands, but they all, except for the Perle, uh, but they all work together perfectly in terms of they're all rose gold. So you really can't tell the difference. I mean, over time, I guess the rose kind of takes on this lovely um, patina. I don't know if patina works for gold. I don't know, but it kind of takes on this lovely hue once you wear it, right? So this is how it looks. Uh, yeah, let's go over the items in the bag now. I didn't show that to you guys. This is the receipt, my invoice. They actually had a lot of items today in my bag. I didn't even realize. Huh. So yeah, this is my invoice. Just regular, uh, my name, my associate's name, purchase price, tax I paid. In Dubai, you pay 5% VAT. Alrighty, and then we have that ribbon. I don't know what this is. This is just uh, an empty folder. Oh, sorry, no. Wait, no, sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. So this one um, is a, um, this is the folder which contains the certificate of authenticity, which is right here, which basically lists that your item, your item serial number, and that is an authentic item purchased at VCA in case you want to sell it um, later on. Then I have this booklet. Yeah, this is just a care booklet, which is going to tell you how to care for your bracelet, how to clean it, etc., etc. And then we have this little cleaning kit, which the my associate included for me in the bag on this side. And there's a cleaning cloth for the bracelet. Yeah, so this is the polishing cloth for the bracelet, which I didn't get for my Perlay one. I wish they would be more consistent with like the add-ons, you know? Just in general, like for all brands. So that is, sorry, trying to put that together. So that's my cleaning kit. And then the box itself, which I dropped it. What you guys saw in the unboxing, this is the box. That gorgeous green. Yay. You know what they didn't give me this time? Was my travel pouch. Like my storage pouch for putting the jewelry in when I'm not using the box. So I'm actually going to go back to the store sometime and request them to give me that, that little jewelry pouch because I remember distinctly that they gave it to me with my Pearl Avey to Gold bracelet. I had my little jewelry pouch for storage. I think that's really important because when I'm traveling, I don't want to be carrying this. I mean, imagine how much space. If I started carrying all of the jewelry boxes that came with the jewelry, that's my, that would be one entire suitcase <laughs> dedicated just to that. So everything is going to go back in the box. Is the bag itself 
and uh, that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this review about the vca i hope it was detailed enough and if you are considering buying the vca signature bracelet i really hope that i was able to help you out if you have any questions again please just leave them in the comments you might have noticed if you have been following my channel i'm very responsive um with replying to any comment that you guys leave also don't forget to subscribe because i <laughs> I'm not going to say weekly because I've been really bad with my posting schedule, but I try to post as soon as I can. And I have a really exciting video coming up very soon when I get time to <laughs> film it, but it will be up very soon and it's for an amazing item that I cannot wait to share with you guys. But thank you for watching, guys. It was so wonderful to finally be able to film this video and to be able to, uh, you know, share it with you guys. And I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Bye!